something very different is, uh, for example, a person like me, I'm not very knowledgeable about how to survive in the snow. Mm. Uh, literally coming from the desert, our uh, coldest temperature in the winter is around like plus 12 degrees or 15 degrees, something like that. And I've never seen snow in my life. I've never walked on a snow or I never touched, like smell anything. And um, I didn't know there are special shoes for the snow, the mm -hmm. walking on the snow and the ice and this one. Uh, I didn't know that you are, uh, you should be careful about where you are stepping, where you are stepping on white snow or the, like uh, white ice or it's gray ice, you know, like this blackish on all of that. Mm -hmm. I literally don't know. I just actually learned this information two weeks ago from my British friend. <laughs> She's the one who kept saying, like, this is good ice. This is not good ice. This is dangerous. This is bad. Okay, why can't say someone like write something like this or put it or tell you know? Uh, this was um, yeah. So I remember my third day here. Um, I was walking out of Galleria Center, which is like a shopping mall, and it was in the middle of March. So the I would say end of winter, beginning of spring, and the snow and star uh, ice started to melt. And uh, basically, I was just stepping out, having like groceries and all of that. And I am walking. I haven't started walking yet. I'm just like took like two steps. And for a brief second, I saw a familiar shoe in front of me. And apparently, it's my shoes and my legs are slipped up. So I am falling very fast that my mind cannot comprehend that I am actually falling. And, and for a brief second, I was laying down, uh, like both my legs are open and my both my arms are like this. And I couldn't understand why did I fall. Uh, there is no one around me who can trip me. I didn't trip or anything. So here was my biggest culture shock, like my first one is that, uh, people would look at me, like look down like this, and they would leave. And they, some would look at me with this uh, eye expression is, why did you fall? You know, mm -hmm. haven't your parents taught you how to ice skate when you were a child, you know, something because this is something completely normal for Latvians who grew up in the snow and uh, but for me, I couldn't understand why I felt. So it's okay. I got up. And because I was wearing those uh, sneaker shoes, and sneaker shoes, they don't uh, provide any uh, con good contraction on the ice at all. And I woke up. I like, dusted all. Everything is really good. I picked up my groceries. Then I took a same step on the same melted ice. Then I fell again. And I was like, seriously, what is wrong <laughs> with my sh I, I couldn't understand why. So I said, maybe this is a dangerous place to walk in. And so I, I sat around, I would say, like 30 seconds on the ground to observe how people are walking. Maybe I did not learn enough how to walk. So I said, OK, maybe I will look. Uh, OK, so they are walking normally. Um, so I crawled like for a few steps to the place where they are walking. And I got up and I walked. Uh, then I went to my office the next day. I told them uh, I fell because after this incident, I fell like seven to eight times after that. Um, I went to my office. I asked them, I keep falling. And I don't know if there is something on the ground or something in my walking. And uh, this woman looked at my shoes. She said, this is not suitable for the winter. I said, uh, like I need some kind of uh, better shoes. She said, yeah, like it should have like this uh, shapes and figure below. Uh, okay, 